Is it possible to build a bridge across the Atlantic Ocean? Let's find out. The first part about building a bridge across the Atlantic Ocean is where to put it. I chose this location because it's one of the shorter areas across the Atlantic Ocean, only about 1,800 miles across. The longest bridge built today is the Diang Kushan Grand Bridge in China. It's used for high-speed railways, and is 102 miles long. Now, we would need about 18 Diang Kushan Grand Bridges in order to cross the Atlantic Ocean. The Washington State Department of Transportation is currently building a pontoon bridge which should cover a large amount of water. This bridge is specially designed with large concrete pontoons that wouldn't crack, letting in water and damaging the pontoons and the bridge. The way these pontoons are designed is that the steel reinforcing shell is heated up to about 130 or 140 degrees, the same temperature as a concrete when it's poured. As they both cool together, this allows them to contract using thermal contraction together so the cracks aren't formed. Now this bridge should be stable in wind conditions up to 90 miles per hour and should be stable during earthquakes and hopefully waves. Now this bridge is 1.43 miles long and has an estimated cost of 586 million dollars. So if we can assume we can multiply the cost by the length it would take to get our bridge across the Atlantic Ocean, that gives us a cost estimate of around 737.6 billion dollars. With that kind of cash involved, we're going to need government support. We would also need islands to support some drawbridges so we can allow boats to go underneath our huge Atlantic bridge. Hmm, a land bridge? Now that's a possibility. Could we transport enough dirt to simply just make a strip of land we could drive across the Atlantic Ocean? Well, this is going to take some serious math. Now, we can look at the average depth of the Atlantic Ocean. That's 10,950 feet. And let's say we want a, at least a two-lane road that's 12 feet per lane for 24 feet total. Now, unfortunately, we can't just build a huge seawall that would probably get easily knocked over. We, uh, the ocean slopes naturally, and uh, the most significant slope that we see is about a 10 degree incline. So we'll plug and chug some quick trigonometry and find out that we're going to need 62,100 feet, or about 11.8 miles, of sloping land on either side of our road in order so that the water doesn't just knock down a, a wall of dirt we put there. So let's plug and chug the math to get the total area of dirt we need, and we get about 239 trillion cubic yards of dirt. And at $8 per cubic yard of dirt, we're looking at two quadrillion dollars in dirt. That's not even the cost of moving the dirt to the Atlantic Ocean. That's simply too expensive to work. But wait, why do we need to build anything at all? Why can't we simply use boats we already have? Well. If we take the top 24 ships in the military that have the longest surface area we could drive across, and we take all of those ships from those designs that are still around, and put them end to end, they would stretch out about 7 miles. But what about cruise ships? Cruise ships are pretty big, right? Well, if we took the top 25 largest cruise ships and stretch them end to end, we get about another 9.1 miles. So with the biggest military ships and the biggest cruise ships, we get a total of 16.1 miles. So that's almost 1% of the way there. That's not going to work either. So it looks like the first option is still the best. But there are some problems with the idea of building a pontoon bridge across the Atlantic. One of the main problems is the time it takes to travel across. Even if you're allowed to go at 100 miles per hour, it's going to take you 18 hours to get to the other side. This means you're going to need food so you can eat, hotels you can rest, some place where you can fuel up your vehicle or fuel up the train if you're taking a train. One of the other problems is that the hurricanes and waves will constantly be causing damage to this bridge and that salt water is incredibly corrosive. This creates a maintenance nightmare for anyone who owns or maintains the bridge and causes tolls to be incredibly expensive to get across. So it turns out there's no real practical reason to build this bridge. Taking a plane or a boat is still a better way to transport yourself or goods across the Atlantic Ocean than by some sort of car or railway that would travel across. Well, thank you for watching. This is Mentalurgy, and my name is Tyler Priel. Today's question was asked by Josh. If you want to be cool like Josh and suggest new topics, please do so in the comments below. Also, if you're wondering where I got some of these numbers from, there's links to references in the description. 
Now, if you'd like to subscribe, you can forge a smarter tomorrow with us. Subscription button is somewhere. You'll find it. You're smart. Thank you.